Hello all, welcome back to Shaking with Peg Leg. Just as you can tell by the thumbnail, I got a package in. Don't worry about the big box that was in the package. That's something else. I was just using it to prop this one up. <clears throat> You'll see what was in that box later, but it's more decoration piece. For, um, I've got to put a couple shelves in here. going on the shelves. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how this box is formed. Okay, there is a slit there. This is very interesting. I did some research on this one. Um, it was originally listed at $139. And I did one of my typical, I put it in my watch list on eBay. And they came back with an offer at $109. Or $105, excuse me. $105. And I took it at $105. Because this is this one's kind of not that hard to find, but they're not as rare as some other ones. Some other models. Because there was six or Six models made in this year that this one was made. They made six models. And this right now is probably the least rare of all the models that you can find. Case is in decent shape considering its age. Sorry, there's this all in the box. Show it to you in just a second. It's a Star Razor. The original Compy Brothers. Eighteen, eighteen, ninety-seven, razor. See how beautiful the scroll work is on this. See those two stars, those two holes right here. <clears throat> if those were filled in and solid, this would be a unicorn. It would be one of the rarest ones to find. And you've got your handle right here. Screws in. Now, in here, and this is the blade. And it's a three star blade. That's a pit mark under the star. That's under the star. It's a three star blade. Yes, these, and it's also had the corner chipped. You see that? See the corner's chipped a little bit? That's okay. But it's not rusted or anything. So I can sharpen that. I will hone it and strop it. And sharpen it. And I will use that blade. <coughs> I've got several razors that have come in. You guys know that. Dave sent me a bunch too that I haven't used yet. But I'm going to hook up my, um, set up the tank for my uh, ultrasonic cleaner. And I'm going to clean this. It really doesn't need it. It's beautiful. And I want to use this Saturday. He 
You got that. Handle. And then you got this piece that screws in to there to make it longer. We're learning together. I've never had one of these, so we're learning together. <clears throat> Dave in Kentucky has one. I checked. He's one of the few that has done a video on one of these. Um, you see a lot of them for 1901s, 1902s, 1912s. You don't see them. For these. This should be the end piece. I'll have to figure out how to put the handle together in a minute. But, see that little slit? You've got little, little, little thumb twists, turns, nuts. Oh, wait. This side's missing one? did not notice that when I bought it. Huh. Okay. But that little slit goes over that to tighten it or loosen it. And this side doesn't have one. Wow. Trying to get that piece is going to be hard. I might have to buy another one of these. These you twist and turn to tighten to keep the blade tight in the razor. I did not notice it was missing one. Because I did not look at them actually. That sucks. Huh, okay. We'll have to play with that. But this, it came with this too. Can you see it's got slit there? What you do. Insert the blade into here, and you put the handle on it, and now you can strop the blade by hand. I've got a strop here, which you can't see. Yep. Works perfectly. Now they also have a tool, which I actually have one coming in. I decided to buy it, even though I knew this was in with this set. Because these are actually, this piece here is hard to find. Not all the sets have them. Um, Around 19, I don't know what year it came out, but I've seen one that was dated. The oldest one I've seen dated was 1910. They had one of these sets, a 1910 one. It's a seven day set. It comes with seven blades. It comes with a stropping machine. It comes with everything. Um, and I got the stropping tool coming. And I'll show that to you when I get it. Um, now I'm going to have to go look. I saw one of these with just the head for sale for like forty dollars. I might have to pick it up because I want that other screw. So you screw these down. To hold the blade in place. This one's bent even 
but yeah, you put pressure on the blade with that little, little bitty, I don't even know if you can see it, the screw sticking out. I can't see it with my glasses on. But it comes down into, it hits the blade and it pushes it down to keep it tight. Yeah, that one's bent too, so you just slide the blade in like that, and there's this lever back here that you lift up, it comes in, holds the back of the blade so that when you press it, it doesn't move. This might be, no, it's not bent, It's that's the angle it's at. Beautiful, beautiful razor, 1897, or 1887, excuse me. All the scroll work, beautiful scroll work. Absolutely gorgeous. And they don't, they just don't make them like this anymore. Look at this. Now the original ones came with wooden handles and there's one for e for sale on eBay. It looks like they dug it up in a field somewhere. It is just, I mean, the head on it is just completely destroyed. I mean, it's intact and it's not bent up or anything, but it looks like it's just been sitting in a field for a hundred years and it's just rusted completely. No, no finish left on it like at all. And it, the, but the wooden handle's perfect on it. And they want nine hundred dollars for it. And it's like no way, dude. If it was perfect, maybe. But and he doesn't have the box or the case or anything. He's just got the razor. It looks like they dug up out of the field. And the handle, as far as I know, could be new because it looks real good. And they want nine hundred dollars. And that's an original. Supposed to be an original eighteen eighty. Comfort Brothers made the razor starting in seventy four or seventy five. Might have been seventy six, but I think it was seventy five. But they didn't start selling them commercially until 1880. And that was the first one. Those are kind of expensive and hard to find. I was glad to find this 1887 when I did. It's even got an extra blade. And it's not even an original blade. This is, this is an aftermarket gem style for when they change the razors to start using gem style blades. But you can use one of these in this razor. And I might do that at some point to show you how it's done. Even though I, I had to watch a video to see how, how the guy did it. It's actually pretty easy and pretty interesting. But we'll save this one. We'll keep this one for prosperity because I don't know how old it is. But yeah, 1887. Just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this is the this is the handle for this one. All right, that's what that extra handle is, and this is I guess the full handle for this. No, maybe not. I could do it like that. But yeah, beautiful razor. All right, that's all I had. 15 minutes of this. We'll play with it some more, get it figured out. I'll get this blade sharpened up so I can use an original 1887 blade. As far as I know, it's the original blade. And we'll have fun with that come Saturday. All right, guys, appreciate you being here. Thank you very much.
beautiful. This this is why I say, get these old suckers. They have soul, baby. Look at that. Look at its scroll work. Do you see that on anything new? No, you don't. You don't see anything that gorgeous. Nothing. Take care, all. Thanks for joining.